I take this opportunity to welcome all of you to Drydox World's Quality Department's second workshop for our quality partners. We are delighted to have all of our quality partners for this morning. Drydox World's Quality Department is pleased to host this workshop as a part of company's efforts to maintain the highest level of standards in all spheres of our activity. Throughout the course of this workshop, you will have opportunity to understand the challenges we face, the opportunities we have, and how do we do our job right at first time through process control. May I request our, direct, our MD to address the gathering, please. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The details of the subject as uh, uh, Sajan just introduced to you about quality and doing it right the first time, process control is the key. The details of this will pan out as the day opens up in front of you. But from where I look at and from where I would imagine some of the senior staff of the business partners should look at is what quality does to our business, especially in today's economical downturn. You must understand what business is going through, what the industry is going through, then place quality in the background and see how the, how the image pans out. Time has come for all of us to be sure that every dirham, dollar, pound that we spend or the client spends, he gets value for that money value which is very, very highly linked and related to the quality of the product that all of us deliver to our clients. And mark my words when I say clients, these can be external clients or internal clients. We are internal clients in our own organizations, but we also deal with external clients from where we generate revenue. It is, quality is passion driven. Quality is driven by the internal philosophies of each organization. There are standards set by various organizations such as the classification societies expecting us to deliver the quality to that particular standards. But basically it is a philosophy of the company. Dry Dogs World Dubai embarked on this philosophy way back in the mid-90s. And I can remember that because I was one of the first quality auditors for this company. Since then, we have grown immensely in terms of our own staff, in terms of what we deliver, in terms of number of ships, in terms of turnover, and in terms of business partners such as yourselves with us. So when we commit Dry Docks World Dubai to a client to deliver a certain quality, we expect all our business partners to align with that statement. How you achieve it is up to yourselves. Guidelines, as I said earlier, are available from classifications from my own internal quality department who will guide you people to set it and get it right the first time. I can go on speaking for a long time on quality, but I leave it to your own judgment. Remember, Dubai has come a long, long way from where it was. Today, the Emirate of Dubai is associated with a quality product. And it is right that all of us put our hearts, minds, and bodies together to ensure the image of Dubai shines for years to come. Thank you, gentlemen. May I request our group director, Mr. Mark, to address the gathering. Well, thank you very much indeed. And, uh, and you make the most of this very well-organized day because there's some keynote speakers, some very valid topics. And I'd just like to reiterate uh, what the MDs just said. It's all about getting it right first time. Quality is one of those top priorities with safety, and if we don't get it right first time, then ultimately 
we're not going to be in business. And, uh, and the rest of the, uh, the elements, safety, delivery, production, technical, are, are all impacted. So thank you very much indeed, Sajan and his team, for organising today. Make the most of it, and please feel free to ask questions of any uh, members of the group. And, and also, we will take the opportunity to discuss those with the business partners as well. So, welcome to everybody. Thank you. May I request Mr. Michael Habina, our general manager for the division? Uh, I would like to tell you one thing. Uh, when uh, Sajan came to me to talk about this event, preparing this event, I thought, what, again? We just had one recently. But then I look calendar, I look the records, and I realized that we got one. But it was July 2008. So more than a year passed. Uh, basically, we are all running from one project to another, from one task to another. And the time is speeding without our notice. I would like to request everybody, as we are here, to take a breath to step back and to check what have we done over this one year to improve quality of our work. But in the same time, what else can we do uh, for another one year just to make sure the quality of the product which we or you are delivering is getting better? And please take this seriously because I'm looking around, I can see same companies, same faces which I have seen here one year. And in the same time, I can tell you that out there in the shipyard, we still facing same problems, we still facing same mistakes, which we were having one year ago. I don't want to demoralize. Uh, we have made the progress. We are better. We have contractors now attending the jobs, which before nobody even think about giving to contractors. But there is still way there is still space for improvement. Just find it, please. Thank you. Before we start with the keynote address, I just want to refresh a memory about the quality management system in Dredox World Dubai. The objective of this presentation is to introduce the quality man management process and key quality management activities of Dredox World Dubai, to explain the roles of standards in quality management, also to explain the concept, of the concept of process control. Also, how we use measurement for assessing quality. Ship repair, new building, and conversion quality management. In, in our industry, we are really concerned with ensuring the required level of quality for ship repairs, conversion, and new building. When I say required level, because each project, each type of project, each client, they require various levels of quality. This involves defining appropriate quality standards, procedures, and ensuring that they are followed. We should aim to develop a quality culture and where quality is seen as everyone's responsibility. In Dredox World Dubai, safety is top priority. It is everybody's responsibility. We would like to have the same approach for quality also. Now, what is quality? There are so many definitions for quality by various people. But in simple terms, quality means the product should meet the specification. The question is, what is the specification? Personal perception about quality. For a businessman, that is features. His computer should have these features. His mobile phone should have these features. For a professional, it should be good workmanship. For a farmer, his tractor should be durable. For a college girl, it can be beauty. And for a military officer, it is reliable. For an engineer, it should meet specification. Now, what is quality in ship repair? This is really problematical for ship repair because there is always a tension between our client and Redox quality standards, where it is weld appearance, surface cleanliness, or it is clearances, or after ship reliability. Some quality requirements are very, very difficult to assess. Repair specification often appears to be incomplete and inconsistent. This is a, it's a field. 
the, the superintendent wants well to be good. I want my side shell to be repaired. His specification just ends over there. Can we wait until the specification becomes very, very clear? Can we go and tell him that, okay, you just specified side shell to be repaired? He never specifies we have to use qualified welders, we have to use qualified procedures. His specification is very, very simple. Repair my ship, side shell, or all my pump. He never says that, okay, after all, it has to work. For our quality partners, this is one thing which I want to say. When dry docks ask you to do a job, we say, okay, on a particular ship, please do the repair. There is no more add-ons to it. But this has to be repaired in a proper fashion. You have to use proper procedures. You have to use qualified welders. You have to use qualified well procedures. These are hidden. It is never mentioned on the spec. So it always appears that the specification is not very clear. We must put our quality management system in place to improve the quality in spite of imperfect specification, which I call. This is not actually imperfect. It's, this is what the client asks us. Do the repair. He won't give you full details of the specification. In, meet our customer specific expectations. That is what is required. Dry Dog's world defines the desires of the customer. This looks like an antithesis. Everybody thinks the customer asks for the quality. It's actually Dry Dog's world Dubai defines the quality what is required for the client. If you go to a supermarket and you're looking for buying a mobile phone, you're not going there with a specification, but you have certain things in your mind. You go to a shop and you ask for Nokia. Normally you don't ask for a cheap Chinese. Nokia now asks any one of you what is the spec you require. They feel the pulse, they make a product. After six, seven months, or after one year, you go again, you want to change. Nokia is there with a different one, with a high spec, which meets your requirements. Dreadworks for Dubai designs and builds and repair ship that actually fit the wants of the customer. We define the quality of what the customer requires. It is there. The customer is just asking us to ful fulfill that old. Give us the quality what we already defined. Dreadworks World Dubai controls its production process to keep producing the desired output. We have a lot of procedures to ensure that the product we deliver meets the specification. We are capable of proving to our client the control, the quality control is both ongoing and applied to all phases of our activity. Now we'll see how do we achieve this in Dreadox World Dubai. Basically through quality management. This is well known to everybody. Quality management consists of quality assurance, quality planning, not very often used that term, quality planning now, quality control and quality improvement. Quality planning is, we have a lot of procedures. Dredox World Dubai's quality management system consists of approximately 3,500 pages. 10 to 15 system procedures, department procedures, work instructions. All these procedures are not applied for every project. For a conversion project, for a new building project, we selectively pick certain procedures and make a separate plan for, for that particular project. Quality control, known to everybody, quality improvement. What is the scope of quality management products for Dubai? It's particularly important for large and complex projects, quality management. Quality documentation, it actually gives a record of product progress as well as it supports continuity of, of the development of the process. For smaller projects like ship repair, we want to develop a quality culture. There's no need of making a separate quality plan for a small ship repair. We have processes and procedures in our yard and we want to develop a culture, a quality culture for ship repair. But in the case of conversion and new building, we have to have, because it is complex, we have to have a quality plan. Independence. This is again what I look from our quality partners. When you select 
When you send a person to dry docks saying that he is our quality representative, normal cases, it is a production person who comes to us. But according to us, quality management should be separate from the project management to ensure independence. This is classical definition for quality assurance, organization procedures and standards for quality. Quality planning, select applicable procedures and standards for a particular project. For new building and conversion, we always prepare quality assurance plan separately. It is actually a selection of procedures from our own system to suit the customer needs. Quality control. Very, everybody knows what is, what is quality control. This just ensures that procedures and standards are followed. Quality improvement, today's theme. It is a purposeful change of a process to improve reliability of achieving an outcome. Process improvement. There are many methods of quality improvement. These cover product improvement, process improvement, and people-based improvement. Now let's see what is process-based quality. Quality of a developed product, it is basically influenced by quality of the production process. This is very, very clear in our industry. The application of individual skills is very important for our industry, like where it is design, where it is welding, where it is painting. A lot is depending upon individual skills. This is external factors such as difficult access or a new procedure and an accelerated schedule sometimes impairs the product of the quality. Sorry, the quality, the quality of the product. Now, process and product quality. Some product quality attributes are hard to assess. Very simple. Our clients ask to do a well. Once the well is finished, it's very, very difficult to find out where what is there inside the well, unless otherwise you do a 100% NDT. For shipbuilding, 100% is never done. Only for specific offshore projects, 100% NDT is done. So there is a complex and very poorly understood relationship between production process and product quality. If the production process is not set right in the beginning, what we achieve at the end of the product process may not be right, may not what we exactly wanted. So we have to ensure that our processes are correct. Now, process-based quality care must be taken to impose, not to impose, inappropriate process for a particular project. We have qualified so many processes in the yard, but when we have a conversion project or a new building project, we have to ensure that we choose the right process for that particular project. Now, let's see what is practical process quality. We define process standards such as building procedure, painting procedure, NDT, monitor the process to ensure that standards are being followed, and again, report on the process to the project management. We always got to ensure that even though we select the processes, we have to inform the project management, these are the processes what we use for a particular project. Don't use inappropriate process simply because we have established a standard for it. Now, roles, now the next topic is roles of standards. Standards are the key to effective quality management. They may be international or national or organizational project standards. Product standards, this define the characteristics that all the components should exhibit, exhibit like ASTM standards or classification society material standards. But then we have process standards. This defines how the process should be enacted, where it is work instruction and procedures for dry docks world Dubai. Now measurements, quality control, simply by doing quality control, we cannot improve the quality of a product. We cannot inspect quality into any product. By just by doing inspection, the quality will not improve. If we can't measure what we are doing, we can't manage it. In 2008 end, we started analysis of our inspection reports. We can see approximately 18% rejections in the structural side. So we want to know this is quality control inspections. By quality control inspection, the only thing what we are ensuring is an unsuitable product or unfinished product is not reaching our customer. We did inspections. We found at first time inspections, 
approximately 18% of the inspections were rejected in structural. By looking at this VR, we couldn't get anything. So we, we went into details of each of these inspections. We did a defect, defect analysis of each of those rejections. We categorized where it is a fit-up inspection. These are the comments what we got from the inspectors. We found that finally, build-up and grinding, this was one major cause of rejections in college in our first-time inspections. So then we went back to the department manager, they had a look at it, then we found out that this picture is quite familiar for everybody. This is on ship side, when they tried to join two blocks, they used to fit a lot of strong backs. This created, at the end of the welding, if you want to remove this one, you have to cut it, remove a lot of base metal, and we had to grind. Then they put a new system. This is an aluminum strong back with stud welded with minimal amount of welding over there. And once the welding is completed, very easy to remove, that reduce the rejection rates first time. Currently, you can see that it is less than 5.26%. This is quality inspection analysis. So you can see how a change in the process can improve the quality of the product. As a manufacturer, you have to see what exactly our customer needs, meet our customer's expectations. We cannot go back and ask whether the specification was clear or not. If you do something like that, will our customer come back? What needs to be done? Understand our customer's needs and expectations. This is true for all of you. When Dredox World Dubai gives you a job, please try to understand what exactly Dredox wants. This is what we do with our customer. Try to understand the needs of the customer. Listen to ideas, suggestions, and complaints from our customer. Choose the right process. Understand, embrace, and practice quality. Do it right at first time. Quality always leads to improved efficiency and profitability. Thank you, gentlemen.